After several years of exciting events with the 611 at Strasburg Railroad in Pennsylvania, word came that it would once again return to its home at the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke. And not only that, it would be traveling on home rails, the Norfolk and Western Hagerstown District. We begin the chase in Luray, Virginia. I chose locations that not only have I passed through by freight train, but were also photographed by the famed O. Winston Link in the 1950s. Notice the concrete base of the Switchman's Tower that still remains to this day. Noting the brick building to the left, we can see that the town of Stanley hasn't changed much in 70 years. This photograph is well known around town and has inspired a mural of the view seen from this very spot. Having arrived in Shenandoah, Virginia, the 611 pulls through the mainline crossover into the yard around an empty grain train getting crewed to go north. A crossover is a pair of switches that allows a train to change from one parallel track to another. After changing tracks, the crossover switches are lined to the normal position and 611 is shoved north into track one, where she'll be parked and secured, or in railroad terms, tied down until morning. In full view of hundreds of intrigued locals and rail fans, 611 idles as the empty grain train from Harrisonburg departs north on the main line. Six Eleven's volunteers shovel extra coal into the firebox to maintain steam pressure overnight, while the Shenandoah Volunteer Fire Department adds water to the tender for tomorrow's 8 a.m. departure. A beautiful evening made for the perfect photo op for the steam crew and Norfolk Southern Shenandoah yard crews.
After a thunderous departure, 611 continues south to Roanoke. One can only hope that the Queen of Steam will one day return to the Shenandoah Valley, hopefully in the not-too-distant future.